All right, so you're in Lake Flow here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to, okay, I'm gonna click on ingest, and you see it's, it's point and click, which is pretty awesome, and it's designed for everybody. I'm gonna use, click on Salesforce, and my friend Eric Orgren has set up a connection. By the way, everything in Lake Flow is governed by Unity Catalog and is secured by Unity, so you, know, you, can, you can manage it very easily and govern it. And there are three steps, and now, okay, great. So now I see these objects from Salesforce, and uh, I'm going to choose orders. I actually work for Casey. I don't know if you remember her cookie company. I'm building the data pipeline. She's my CEO. So I'm gonna bring in some order information uh, for our ever-growing cookie business. Into, the, into this uh, catalog and schema. And hang on a second, there we go. And within seconds, data should show up in our lake house. Excellent, all right, that's it, that's all it took. There are no more steps. One of my favorite features here, by the way, is that it's one single unified canvas. So this little dag at the bottom, you always see it. You can hide it if you want, but I'm gonna click here on Salesforce and I'm gonna write a transformation. Okay, that's simple. Now, this is an intelligent application. It's built on the intelligence, data intelligence platform. So I might just go ahead and ask the assistant what it thinks I should join. Uh, okay, thumbs up with a pretty reasonable join. It says you can join these tables. And I'm just going to let it figure out how to join them, figure out the key for me. And that's pretty awesome. Okay, that looks about right. It found the customer ID key. I'm gonna go ahead and accept that. And let me just run this transformation real quick. I don't have to deploy it, I can run it in development, and it'll actually give me the ability to debug it real quick. Okay, perfect. So I can see that I have orders, dates, products, customers, all of this came together really nicely. I have a nice little sample of data. Great, so this, remember, this is my pipeline here. Uh, I, did, I did this materialized view, a transformation. So again, from this unified canvas, I just add a pipeline step. And I'm gonna go live here, I'm gonna write some code. Okay, so I'm going to create something called a sync. Think of a sync as a destination. I'm just going to call it Kafka because I'm going to write to Kafka. And all I have to do is, this is kind of cool because all I'm doing is writing SQL here. And I'm going to point this at kafka.databricks.com. And that should be enough to create a sync. And all the credentials are coming through Unity Catalog. So this is, again, governed. And I'm going to create something called a flow. And a flow, think of that as an edge that writes changes into Kafka. I'm going to do target. Kafka, and I'm going to select from the sales table that I just created. And I'm going to use the table changes, table value function. Um, okay, something's not right here, and I need to do dev. Great, okay. So this looks good. And remember, this is what looks like a batch pipeline. And I'm gonna turn this into streaming. There we go. And just like that, our data's in Kafka. Okay, so remember I have data going into Kafka. I have all this. I'm going to just add another step. I love this unified canvas. It's like a really nice context on where I am. And the, this is super cool. The just assistant suggested dashboard. That's pretty cool. Actually useful. Revenue and product insights. I like that. That's what I would have wanted. And uh, let me hide that a little bit. And there it is. That's our dashboard. So hey, good news. Our cookie business continues to grow. We're not all the way done with the business. And this is super cool. Uh, we actually have a really interesting insight here that sugar cookies tend to sell in, in the month of December, so super cool. And one last thing, this is actually an evolution of our existing product. So you can confidently keep using Delta Live tables and workflows, we'll make sure that everything is, forward, is backwards compatible, all your jobs and pipelines will continue to work, and you can start enjoying Lakeflow.